Hello friend, welcome to Magento tutorial. In this video, we will create one simple hello world module. Now let's get started. Now I want you to learn what is a module first. What is a module? A module is a piece of code which a developer will work for a specific implementation using different programming languages. For example, in your company or your client will ask you to create one form and save data from that form in the database. For that what you have to do, you have to create one module which is not dependent on others. Okay, now let's get started with uh, how to create a module. Here uh, I have provided some steps. So based on these steps you can create your own uh, module. Okay, these are the basic steps that every module is required. If you are creating a simple module like this hello world or if you want to create a large a big module you need to follow these steps. The first step create folder name as web dev inside app code. Now let's go to this folder structure. M24 is my root directory of Magento. In that you will find this app. Go to this app. You will not find the code folder. First you need to create one code folder. If you, if you don't have uh, this code folder, you need to create it first. So in the first step, uh, we need to create one uh, folder name. Okay, this is the company name or vendor name. Okay, this is same for all the modules. You can give your own name. Here, uh, you see, I have given as first letter as uh, cap letter. Okay, you have to follow the naming convention. First letter should be caps. So instead of this vendor name or company name, you have to create one folder that is a module name. Right now I'm giving just uh, some hello world as it is a hello world module. So based on this module name, uh, if any other developers logged into the server, he can easily find out what it means, what this module represents. Okay. Now instead of this uh, web dev hello world, you have to create uh, some folders. Okay, now the first one we have created this web dev inside app code. The second step we have created hello world module. In the second step we have created this hello world folder inside of this web dev. Now in the third step we need to create etc folder inside this web dev hello world. So instead of this web dev hello world, you need to create etc. Okay, now the folder structure is ready. So the next step is create a new file name as registration.php inside app code web dev hello world. So it is a registration.php. See this naming convention for registration.php. So the first letter is is in small letter. So in the fifth step, uh, we need to create module.xml inside this hello world etc. Okay. Etc. A file See here module.xml is created okay now we have created all the files and folders for creating a module now what you have to do these are empty files okay registration.php and in the edc module.xml these are empty so what is this registration.php what it will do because of this registration.php, Magento understands this is a module. So you have to put this registration.php inside the module directory. So as it is an empty file, you have to open this one. Okay, you see here, this is an empty file. You have to fill some information regarding this registration. So you see here, the first one is the component register it will register this module. So you have to put here your module name. Okay. So that is like vendor name or company name. 
underscore this one underscore hello world this one okay whatever the name you have given uh, for the company name and whatever the name you have given for the module name okay the separation should be in underscore okay this way magento understands this is a module now just save this file now now in the etc we have module.xml also open this file you see here it is an empty file you have to fill some information regarding this module.xml as it is a xml we should give this xml version this should be mandatory okay so here we have uh, two important points one is module name one is setup version so module name is a unique identifier for identifying this module okay you put any name you want and coming to the setup version this setup version will be saved in the database i will show you where it is saved okay go to localhost slash php my admin go to your database here type setup underscore module in this table it will be saved so you see here uh, the schema version and data version right now i just have these one if you run the setup upgrade after these files created uh, that version will be available here so when installing at the first time uh, setup version and schema version both are same okay now what you have to do put some module name web dev underscore hello world this should be the company name or uh, vendor name and this should be the module name like uh, web dev is my company name and hello world is my module name okay save this file the simple module structure we have created so to use this module you have to run some commands right now we just created this module files and folders okay now we will check how this will work now open git bash or any other terminal which you have you have to go to magento root directory so my magento instance is created in this folder okay. so this is my magento instance root path okay now you have to run commands like php bin slash magento setup upgrade you have to run the di compile okay this is the command for di compile okay now do one thing there is one more command static content deploy if you forcefully want to do that just put this hyphen f So what are the changes you made in the theme? So it will regenerate it. I'll discuss all these things in the later tutorials. Okay. Okay. Now just uh, flush the cache. That's it. Cache. Flush. This way you can create uh, uh, some custom module here. These are the basic files that are uh, required for any module. Now what you have to do. You have to check this module is enabled or not. For that, you have to go to your folder structure. Go to this app etc. Here you will find this config file, config.php. Open this one. Okay. You see here, config.php. Here in this file, you will find what are the modules are enabled. So you have to find your module. In my case, it is web dev see here it is added web dev underscore hello world so if the module is enabled or not how you identify based on the zero or one so in my case it is one that means the module is enabled so if in your case it is zero then what you have to do you have to enable by using one command for example i will set this to zero that means this module is disabled i want to enable it again okay. you have to run enable command php pin slash magento module 
enable so if you want to enable it you can put enable if you want to disable it put it disable here okay click space you have to put your company name or vendor name in my case it is web dev hello world so make sure of these naming conventions okay just click on enter this time i am enabling the module okay module is enabled check in the config.php file again you see here again it is reverted back to one that means the module is enabled now run the setup upgrade command again you have to run the setup upgrade da compile and uh, static content okay if there is any mistake in the commands it will show something like this okay okay now it is done do the di compile setup di compile okay now you have to run one more command setup static content deploy as i am in a developer mode i have to run this iphone f it will regenerate all the teams this command now is executed now just flush the cache okay in this video we just have seen that how to create a simple hello world module and uh, how to enable that module in the next video we will discuss about how to create a new page using controller and routes.xml